Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In tonight's video, I'm going to be ranking these eight assault rifles that are currently available since release up until now in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and ranking them in my personal order of worst to best here of the, you know, top eight because there is only eight assault rifles, giving each of these a ranking and a number and talking about why I think that. I've seen some other YouTubers have been doing these tier list ranking videos, so thought I'd give my input in terms of assault rifles and I also covered like two days ago all of these assault rifles for personal class setups with them. But if you want to see in-depth attachments for each and every single one of these assault rifles, check out the video uploaded, I think two or three days ago, titled just every assault rifle best class setup, uh, something like that. If you guys could drop a like on this video, that would be absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and go for 874 likes. If we could hit that, that would be incredible. The support has been amazing lately. Go ahead and hit that like button. I know it's a Sunday night here. You might be Monday morning by the time you're watching this video, but it, take that millisecond out of your day, smack that like button. It really does mean a lot to people creating videos like myself and personally it's just amazing like the support hitting a million subscribers everything's been crazy so drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed and once again before we go into this I'm going to say this is my personal opinion list so if you think things are different than me there's no need to get mad or angry or upset it's all up to personal opinion although I do think a lot of these are going to we're all you know we're all going to agree or not all but most people are going to agree on certain ones of these I think there's definitely going to be some uh, discrepancies towards the end of the list or the middle of the list which people are going to be talking about which of course uh, you know everyone can give their opinion down in the comment section down below but I'm going to try to justify my choices and once again if you I play traditionally more of like a either 10v10 domination or a shoot house 24 7 those are the modes I've played the most on this game so if you're a ground war player or you're a traditional 6v6 player you might have a complete you know your favorite gun might be the FAL with the ACOG scope for ground war but personally if I'm playing shoot house that's going to be not that best of a setup so anyway personal opinion Let's go ahead and get right into this and let's do it from um, order of worst to best, I guess. So we'll go through with number eight all the way up to number one. So coming in at number eight is going to be, the, as far as, in my opinion, the worst assault rifle in this game currently, the FAL. Now, the FAL is an assault rifle that is interesting in this game. It is a semi-automatic assault rifle, but because of the fact that it takes two shots to kill if you do plan your shots correctly and hit them in the upper chest, or three shots to kill sometimes if you're not hitting those shots, it really just can't compete with a lot of these fully automatic assault rifles with low recoil, good damage ranges, and of course the basically instant time to kill in this game. That's why I would put the FAL here at number eight. Thing about the FAL though, like I talked about in my class setup for it, is the, the main way that a lot of people have been using this weapon, and me myself personally as well I've been doing this, is converting it with the weapon perk into a burst weapon. And this makes it a lot more effective. You can get a lot of one burst kills, but I still don't think if, you're, if we were to match up the FAL with the burst versus is the uh, FAMAS or the FR556 being a burst weapon. I think most people, including myself, would take that FR556 over the FAL, even though, I'm, I mean, maybe you get around the same amount of one burst, maybe even a bit more with the FAL, but it's so much weaker in so many other ways, especially in handling, uh, magazine size, all, all those different ways, because um, of course the magazine size being 20 isn't a big deal if you're semi-auto firing the FAL, but as a burst weapon, it does become a big deal when you only get six bursts in each magazine. So that's my personal reasons why I'd put the FAL at number eight. Coming in at number seven, and this was where it gets hard. These next three could be sort of swapped around either way. I think these next three weapons we're going to talk about are fairly even in terms of how good they are in this game. And number seven is going to be the SCAR-17. Now, personally, I really do like the SCAR-17. However, it's hard to find a play style that maximizes it. I made a video yesterday talking about this awesome, uh, since because the SCAR got a buff in the recent patch update, and maybe once I play with this weapon more and more off of this buff, even though it was just a tiny, small buff, maybe this weapon will move up on my list, but as of right now, uh, I made the mini scar class up, which is really, really fun to use. It's not the most effective weapon in all of the game, but it's so fun to use, you know, just getting that nostalgia feeling and turning the scar into a more lightweight weapon, even though it still fires with the heavy ammo, having fun with that. However, if you're using the, star, the scar for more what it's traditionally built for, long range, high damage range, good headshot multipliers, I find that it gets outclassed by the AK-47, which fires the same ammo and a lot of, you know, a lot of similarities to it. However, I find the AK is just a lot more powerful. So if you're going for its proper use, I would usually take the AK over the SCAR. And that's why this weapon, while I do love this thing so much, comes in at number seven. Coming in at number six is going to be the Odin Assault Rifle. Now, the Odin was a weapon that back before, when this game first came out, I don't know who remembers, but the play styles and everything, it was just so slow around this game. Not to say that this is the fastest game by any means in terms of Call of Duty multiplayer, but when they sped up the SMGs, buffed all the 
those SMGs. They also sped up just how the overall gameplay moved or how the players move, uh, the movement. It made a lot of changes to how things worked um, and just throughout these patch updates as well. And I thought the Odin, personally, it was like a top five weapon for me when this game first came out. I was melting people and I still think the Odin is amazing, but it is a slower use weapon and how it does have a, a really, really fast time to kill up very close. Uh, it's, it's sort of counter... Uh, counterintuitive because it's a weapon that with its slow handling you want to use it more for a mid to long range where if you do hit every shot that time to kill kicks in and this thing is deadly one of the top tier weapons in this game but that's a lot easier said than done and usually with this thing just setting up a shot or bouncing around it's not like an, another weapon like an m4 where you can just snap on the target and they're melted before you know your muscle memory just takes over i find that the odin you have to put a little more work into it and be careful about your play style it can work out very very well and if you're someone that likes to maybe post up in ground war or 10v10 when i was playing 10v10 i love this weapon a lot uh since i've been sh switching more to shoot house personally i don't think it's as good on that map of course but that makes sense um but like i said these ones are really close in terms of which one is ranked over the other so that is the scar coming in at the number six spot i believe right coming in at number five is going to be the m13 assault rifle now i know the m13 is a weapon that a lot of people love this and i'm sure a lot of people will have this higher up than number five on their list but for me personally the m13 it's it's such a good weapon it is a good weapon but it's a mix of between an AR and an SMG and when you have a game like this where the ARs are already dominant like the top two top three ARs we're going to talk about here in a second and the top two top three SMGs let's say MP5 MP7 and then I mean what's the third best SMG I don't really know but you know maybe let's say P90 put something like that in there those weapons are going to do really really well up close and then your AR is going to do really well at medium to long range so it leaves the M13 in an interesting predicament where basically you design the M13 class up because of it's, it does have a really fast fire rate, the fastest fire rate out of all the ARs, but it also has a very slow time to kill because of the amount of bullets it takes to kill someone. And that's why this weapon basically, you know, when you speed it up, design it around a Honey Badger class, it is very, very fun and effective for being stealth. But if you run into a one-on-one -on -one gunfight and you have the M13 and they have the M4, unfortunately, you're just going to lose that fight. Of course, if you fire at the exact same time, which usually doesn't happen in Call of Duty. Usually whoever shoots first wins because these guns, even though I'm saying these, the M13 has a slow time to kill it's milliseconds slower than uh, some of these other weapons right but the m13 i still think it's an awesome weapon i still think it's it feels like that hybrid like the honey badger like a peacekeeper from like bo2 whatever you know hybrid assault rifle smg it definitely has some uses and that's why i put it coming in at the number five spot here coming in at number four is a little bit of a sleeper pick i think i might have this one higher up on my list than some other people do but i wanted to put this here to urge you guys to test this weapon out and that is the fr556 aka the famos and i was trying to think if I wanted to put this one above or the M13 above, it, it did come down to pretty close because, of course, it just depends. Do you like a burst weapon or an auto weapon? Now, personally, I'm more of an auto weapon player in this game, but when I am going to pull, pull out a burst weapon, it, not really using the M16 variant that you get from max level for the M4 or the FAL, which I'll use occasionally, it's going to be the FR556. This weapon has 30 bullets to it. You can design class setups really, really nice, and one burst kills are pretty consistent with this weapon as long as you hit that full burst of, you know, the three round burst and even if you don't it, it's pretty quick response time or I guess you could say fire rate or burst time whatever it's called into that second burst so I find that the FR556 is really effective and in a game where usually in a fast fast time to kill low recoil high damage weapon game burst weapons do not traditionally do well this is a weapon that gives me vibes and it's not it's definitely it's not nearly as good as the Modern Warfare 2 FAMAS not nearly as good but it gives me those same sort of vibes and maybe I'm getting more of the the like type 25 modern warfare 3 but before that thing was nerfed to the ground because that thing was nerfed to the ground quick before that thing was nerfed it was really strong i get some, sort of those vibes from this weapon and it's one that i find is pretty fun and i usually use it with a sight but i've seen a lot of other people experimenting more with using the default sights on it which i definitely um you know i've been watching some videos of people like using those default sights and some gameplays with it i'm like maybe i should give the default sight to try i don't know let me know what you think but yeah fr556 is an awesome weapon if you're looking for burst in this game look no further this is the one for you. Now we're getting down to the uh, top three. That was number four, FR556. These are the top three assault rifles. Basically, if you take any of these three ones, and these are the three, I think they're the most popular ones people are using. I'm not sure. The M13 is also very, very popular in this game, but these are weapons that a lot of people are using, and a lot of people are doing big work with them. So coming in at number three spot, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put the AK-47 in my number three spot. Now, this one was tough to decide if this should be number three or number two, personally. Number one, I think we already all, all know what's coming for number one, 
But uh, yeah, number three is going to be the AK-47. And the AK-47 is a weapon that slowly climbed the tier, tier list charts in this game because of everything else getting nerfed and it not really receiving too much in terms of nerfs. I mean, you know, you still have your 7.62 ammo, which is great. The, the big complaints I see about this weapon are the recoil, which I don't really understand that complaint as much. I guess if you're playing ground war or, you know, 10v10 long range engagements, I do understand it. But my thing about recoils in this game is uh, the, number one, the way to, to, to counteract the recoil on like a Scar or even an Odin or an AK, they all have similar bounce recoil patterns. I mean, different, but similar in the terms of the bounce effect. You pull down on that right thumbstick. And of course, this is easier said than done. I've been playing Call of Duty for like a decade straight. But it, if you can do that, you can usually control these, these the recoil of this, at least at mid range, I would say. And by the time you, I mean, you kill people so fast with the AK, which has a decent fire rate, not fast at all, but a very high damage, which means the time to kill is nice. You're able, and, and really good damage range as a headshot multiplier, you're able to melt people. And by the time you notice the recoil going crazy, I usually only have problems on the recoil I find on more double or triple kill scenarios or really, really cross map ones. By the time you notice that recoil is kicking in, you've already gotten a single kill or a double kill. You're moving up towards the flag. You're hitting that reload. And you're just having a great, a great time. So AK-47 is a weapon. I think it could be number three or number two in this game. It's really good. It, it is really good. And I know there's a lot of people that are haters of the AK. And I think that's because it might not fit your play style. Or also this thing, you have to get the attachments on it because it does have really slow handling. And once you get attachments and you're able to control, you know, understand, okay, I don't like the handling being slow. I want to speed that up. Or I don't like the recoil being high. I want to make it less recoil. You can configure that with the class setups, right? And the builds in this game. Now coming at number two is going to be the Kilo 141. And I had to put this weapon at number two. Kilo 141 is not the strongest in terms of time to kill, but overall, it's just a monster. This thing reminds me of the ACR. This thing handles nicely. It has nice default sights. It has a nice reload. It has good magazine size. It has a good fire rate. It has a good time to kill. And yeah, it's just overall an awesome weapon. It reminds me a lot of the ACR. And like I said with the FAMAS, it's not as good as the ACR that we've seen in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. I mean, those weapons were just peak. I mean, this one might kill faster, but that's just because of the health in this game and how the damage works. But in terms of just recoil control, I mean, those ones are straight lasers. This one will have a bit of maybe a tiny bit of recoil with it, but I mean, it's the Kilo 141. You can use this thing with the default sight. You can use it with pretty much any sight in the book. And there's a lot of different class setups you could customize, but most of it will be around keeping this weapon to have decent handling, even like making sure your aim walking steadiness is all right and making sure that you're damage at range because this is one where you can take on a lot of ranged fights and do quite well with this weapon. Kilo 1 for 1 just overall is such a solid weapon. That's why it comes in at number 2. Coming in at the number 1 spot on my list. Personally, as of right now, the best assault rifle in this game. Even after 3 nerfs, it still is the M4A1. And there's a website uh, where you can look up like Call of Duty stats where every weapon um, is showing sort of the overall. I don't know exactly how they get their numbers or how they do the full-on testing, but from the numbers that they're drawing from a large uh, portion of the Call of Duty community, this is by far the most used weapon in this game. It also has by far the highest uh, K KD ratio. Of course, that's probably on the way down. And I'm, I'm out of, you know, there's other weapons that have higher KD ratios, but of just traditional assault rifles, SMGs, this one is miles above the other ones. Um, and I think it's coming down because of those nerfs. But still, as of right now, it's probably the most used weapon in this game. It's just so strong. And the biggest problem I would say after all these nerfs is, yeah, this thing does have some recoil. And this thing does have, it, it does kick a little bit. It is kind of hard to control. It's not like the ease easy to use as it was in day one. But much like I say about the Kilo, where this thing, you can use the default sites, you can use a bunch of different sites on it. This one will give you some problems because of the nerfs. But for the most part, you can build your class up around counteracting those nerfs, adding a good, um, you know, a whatever it's called, the Grenadier Barrel to keep up the high damage at range because they hit you with the nerfs on that in the 5.56 ammo. You can add things to control recoil if that's a problem. Personally, with this one, I use it more for, if I'm playing a longer range map, I'd probably go Kilo or AK. If I'm more mid mid range, you know, for an AR, where you have to also like out pace or outkill SMG players up close or even people running around with that 725 which by the way is still really good in this game after three or four nerfs or however many happened to that I think it was three but the M4A1 definitely still standing tall and it's not like how it was on day one where this was by far and above like it would be the only gun I'd be talking about out of this top assault rifles list there's ones that are close the Kilo the AK I mean a lot of these weapons are close to it but I think it still stands out and as of right now if you can learn to deal with those nerfs just the raw power of this weapon and just strength overall uh, makes up for that stuff in my personal opinion. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy my video. Once again, I'd say let me know in the comment section down below.
below. Give me your top three assault rifles in this game. I want to see if your guys' top threes are different. If you want to, you can give your top five or your top eight. But I know, you know, not everyone has uh, all day on their hands. So if you want to make it quick and simple, leave in the comment section down below your top three. Mine, it goes AK, well, in reverse order, AK, Kilo, and then the M4. I want to see if you guys have a similar one or if you guys might have a sleeper pick. Maybe you have your M13 and the top three or whatever it is. I'm going to be really interested to be reading the comments. So for anyone who made it to this far into the video towards the end, please go ahead and leave a comment down there. Definitely going to be reading through a lot of them and trying to get, uh, you know, your guys' opinions on this stuff. Thanks for watching. Drop a like on this video if you guys could. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one and I'm out. Peace.